Christ alone, beloved. Good morning. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning. Beloved, good morning. Bien aimé, bonjour. Bonjour, bonjour. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Good morning. Welcome to our morning prayer. Welcome to our morning prayer. Fountain of Agape Mission Center. The fountain of love. Unconditional love. Hallelujah. The fountain where love flows from the fountain unto you that are listening. Beloved, I'm Pastor Daniel. My anchor hold within the veil. Hallelujah. Christ alone. Cornerstone. Weak will be made strong. In the Savior's love. For the stone. In his love. Lord of love. Clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus. He is the Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Christ alone. On the stone. Weak will be made strong. In the Savior's love. Through the stone. Sing, 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 sing. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Make the devil to be mad this morning. Hallelujah. By singing, by singing. You are welcome, you are welcome, you are welcome. All our viewers around the world, we welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus, daughter Christina, daughter Maria. I haven't seen you for long. Thank you. I hope everything is working, everything is all right. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray this morning, that you will receive strength. You will receive strength. You will receive strength in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Let the Holy Spirit minister to you, beloved. Yes, Lord. Righteousness alone. Faultless will stand before the throne. You will stand before the throne faultless. Faultless. Hallelujah. Christ alone. Christ alone is the cornerstone, is our anchor in the mighty name of Jesus. If it's your anchor, say amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Wherever you are watching us, wherever you are watching us, put comment. Hallelujah. Connect, connect. Invite your family wherever they are. Say, Pastor is online. Cabo Seke. Remember the book of Mark, chapter 1, verse 35. Mark 1, 35. Said, Jesus, Jesus was waking up very early in the morning before though and go to the solitary place and pray and pray and pray through the storm is Lord Lord of Lord 
Many, 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 hallelujah. Many were waking up. Many were following the pattern of Jesus. Until our period, until our time, we have to follow the pattern of Jesus and we have to leave it to the next generation. If we, the next generation doesn't see us, the youth, the youth, the youngsters doesn't see us praying, how can they carry forward? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Cross alone. Hold the stone. The weak will be made strong. Sing, sing, sing. And tell the sleep that your time is over. Your time is over. Now is the time to be connected with the Holy Spirit. Now is the time to be connected with heaven. Now is the time to receive from heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your heart be receptive. Let your heart be receptive and let your mind be alert, beloved. Bonjour, bonjour, bien-aimé. Alléluia, alléluia. Que ton cœur puisse recevoir et que ta pensée soit en alerte. Alléluia. Merci, merci de connecter avec nous, partager, partager, parce que c'est une heure de prière, une heure de prière, une heure de connexion avec le Saint-Esprit. Maroko Katabababa, David says in the book of Psalm chapter 5 verse 3, Psalm chapter 5 verse 3, it says, in the morning, O oh Lord, hallelujah, in the morning, O oh Lord, you hear my voice. Let the Lord hear your voice this morning, beloved. Let the Lord hear your voice this week. Let the vo Lord hear your, heard your voice this week in the mighty name of Jesus. Say to yourself, say to yourself, Lord, hear my voice. Hear my voice. Hear my voice. He said, you will call upon him and he will answer you. It's David said, early in the morning, oh Lord, you hear my voice in the morning. I lay my request before you and wait in expectation. What is that request that you brought to the Lord today? We have also to learn how to thank God, beloved. How to thank Him. How to be grateful in the mighty name of Jesus. If you have worked up this morning with some tiredness, some tiredness, let me first of all pray for you. Let me first of all pray for you so that you receive strength. Prayer brings strength. Let the joy of the Lord bring you strength. Say to yourself, the joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord, la joie de l'éternel est ma force. La joie de l'éternel est ma force. Yes, yes, yes. Put your comment, put your comment, put your amen. You know, when we are speaking, beloved, when heaven speaks, heaven speaks, you must respond. You must respond with the amen. Amen means you agree. Amen means agreement. Amen veut dire je suis d'accord. Mm -hmm. C'est pour cela que tu dois dire amen. Amen. Écris, écris. Go to the chat box. Go to the chat box, beloved. Hallelujah. Go to the chat box. So I will say if you have woken up this morning with heaviness, 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 tiredness, Makukataba, I come to pray for you to release you this morning, to release the power of God onto you this morning. So that oh Kabo, thank you, Maria Kabo Seke. She says shalom. She says shalom. Shalom, daughter, shalom. You are blessed. You are blessed. Let the enemy not rob you from your blessing, from the promises that God has set for you in heavenly places. Matukataba. God bless, God bless all our viewers around the world. Hallelujah. Sister Solange, get up, get up. Get up at the sound of my voice. You will receive Bakosaka. The voice you will hear the voice of the Lord calling you is a time of prayer. Get up. In the mighty name of Jesus, we command the Holy Spirit. We send the Holy Spirit to the house of all our viewers. So you that are connected, be blessed, be blessed this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Kaboseke. We're going to be talking, this is our first day, first day of prayer for this week, oh Lord. Today is Tuesday, Tuesday, the 21st, 21st, 07. Ha. Oh, number seven is going. And then number seven is a perfection. Maroko Katababa, Sekerebe. So, be perfect, per perfect, perfect everything you are doing during this month, beloved. Make sure everything you are doing, be perfecting. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Align it with the word of God. Align it with the word of God in the name of Jesus. So because it's the first day, the Bible said it's not the first day that is important, but to the end. So we got four days, four more days. Say to yourself, four more days. I will be faithful. I will be happy. I will be happy. I will be connecting with pastor. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Apostle Delphine also will come after. And then she will deliver the word that God has set, put in her heart. Hallelujah. Yes. Let's take off. If you have fasted your seatbelt, let's let take off. Le rendezvous des saints. Le rendezvous des saints. Getting ready. We're going to be talking this week about getting ready. In another word, being prepared. Being prepared, getting ready, getting ready. Hallelujah. I'm praying for someone this morning. Get ready, get ready. Oh, you will maybe ask me, get ready for what, Pastor? Get ready for what? Sometimes somebody we say, get ready. The food is ready. Oh, they said to the pregnant woman, get ready. Get ready, get ready. They said to the students, they said to the youth that are preparing their exam, they say, get ready, get ready. They said to the workers, 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 get ready, get ready. It's time to get up. It's time to go to work. It's time to do this. It's time to do that. The businessman, get ready, get ready. Hakabo second. Get ready in the mighty name of Jesus. What does that mean? What does the Bible say about being ready, about being prepared? You see, if there is no preparation, there will not be readiness. If there is no a preparation, there is no readiness. So prepare yourself, beloved. Prepare yourself. Proverbs chapter number 22. We're going to open our Bible, the Word of God. Hallelujah. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. The Word was God. And the Word became flesh, beloved. And dwell among us. That's why this word today must become flesh. When you are reading the word of God, there must be a manifestation. So I'm praying this morning. Oh, at the sound of my voice, wheresoever you are listening to us this morning, beloved, may the word of God be manifested in your life, be manifested in your businesses, be manifested in your ministry, in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever you are doing, Align it with the word of God and you will be successful in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Proverbs chapter number 22, verse 3, beloved, is there. A prudent person, a prudent person foresee <laughs> the danger ahead and take what? Precaution. A prudent person. Are you a prudent person? Are you a prudent person? When I was preparing this prayer, the Holy Spirit just dropped my mind. A pregnant, a, a, a woman that is ready to give labor. Makasoko, before the labor day, the woman have been prepared. People have come in to do the baby shower. People came to visit her. So preparation is not only you, beloved. You that doesn't want to see somebody. No, no. Together we are, we prepare. We come together to prepare. The prepare. Many people bring gifts. Many people bring something to the pregnant to the, the, the pregnant woman before she gave birth. Why? Why? Because she have to be prepared. She have to prepare the dress of the. The unborn baby, before it gets, <laughs> hallelujah, you have to be prepared, beloved, a prudent person. I'm praying for you this morning that you're going to be that person. You're going to be that person. A prudent person foreseeing. He sees danger ahead. Mm. He sees danger. I pray that any danger, any trap that the enemy will put before us, we will foresee and then we will escape. In the mighty name of Jesus, Kaboko second. You remember sometimes when they were coming to arrest Paul, it's already gone. When they were coming to arrest Jesus, it's already gone. In the mighty name of Jesus. I said the enemy will not see you. In the mighty name of Jesus, the enemy will not see you, beloved. The enemy will not see you. It said a prudent person for sin, a danger. It means what? It means we continue to to pray against blindness. Last week, last week, uh, Apostle was talking about the veil, about blindness, about the wax in our eyes. So we have to continue in that because blindness, beloved, blindness 
Oh, Kabo is very dangerous. If we continue to be spiritually blind, we continue to be spiritually blind. We cannot foresee a danger. We cannot force, we cannot see the trap. We cannot recognize that uh, that enemy, that enemy that we are talking about, is the person that is sitting by your side. Is the person you are eating with. Is the person you are drinking with. Is the person you are walking with. Mako katababa, may the Lord open your eyes this morning, kopakare, to see any danger, anything that is swifting you from the word of God, anything that is swifting you from the love of God Jesus told Peter Satan, Satan wanted to swift you, but I pray for you, that's why you have to pray this morning, yes, 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 few people are putting yes, thank you Lord, thank you Lord, you are up but you are not putting your comment, though I can't see you, we have some few people that are writing, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, in the mighty name of Jesus, another version said, a person can be prepared by watching for the trouble you have to be watchful watchmen that's what the bible said in the book of ezekiel you are a watchman we are a watchman it said a person can be prepared by watching for a trouble and avoid it avoiding it avoiding it and pray for someone this morning you will avoid any trouble you will avoid any trap that the enemy is putting in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah what make us not to be prepared beloved what what make us not to be prepared oh before i go there let me read it in french for our beloved french speaking Alléluia. Proverbe chapitre 22, verset 3. Bien aimé, nous parlons de la, de, d'être prêt. Être prêt et sois préparé. Sois préparé. Si tu n'es pas préparé, être prêt précède la préparation. Être prêt précède la préparation. <coughs> Proverbe 22, 3 dit. Un homme prudent voit venir le malheur et se met à l'abri. Les ignorants, ils demeurent, oh, alléluia, donne tête baissée. You see, les ignorants, pas de tête baissée. Quand tu pars tête baissée, tu ne vois pas devant, tu vas tomber sur un obstacle au nom puissant de Jésus. Donc, un homme prudent, un homme prudent, un homme prudent. Est-ce que tu es cet homme prudent? C'est, dis à toi-même, je suis un homme prudent. Répète, répète jusqu'à ton subconscient, c'est que tu es un homme prudent. Au nom puissant de Jésus. Yes, Proverbe chapter 20, verse 13. Proverbe 20, 13. Alléluia, we're going to pray. Because this is what makes us not to be ready. But what is what makes us not to prepare. A student, if it's, you are working according to Proverbs 20, 33, you will fail your exam. Because Proverbs 20, 13, 13, 13, it says, A lazy person will never be ready. <laughs> a lazy person will never be ready. That means he will never prepare himself. So we're going to pray against laziness. Laziness, that's what is holding many people. It's a stronghold. It's me alone. Laziness, leave me alone. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. If you love sleep, beloved, if you love sleep, if you love sleep, oh, you will end up in poverty. That's what he said also. If you love sleep, if you love, you that love sleep, you wake up but you're still sleeping. You wake up but your eyes still closing. Akaboko seke. Ending up with poverty means what? That you will not know. You will not know when the danger will come. You will not know, oh, Kabo Seke, the word of God to stand firm when danger comes. I pray for you this morning, but your eyes be open. May your understanding be open in the mighty name of Jesus. May your heart be ready to receive the word of God with gladness, with gladness, with gladness. Prepare. Preparation. Preparation is not a waste time. Preparation is not a waste time. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come against that spirit of laziness. Come against that spirit of laziness. Come against that spirit of laziness. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 20, verset 13. Bien aimé. Proverbs chapter 20, verset 13. Il dit, si tu, es do- si tu aimes dormir, si tu aimes dormir, tu deviendras pauvre. Ouvre grand les yeux. 
Et tu Si tu aimes dormir, toi qui aimes dormir, toi qui aimes dormir, le jour de l'église, tu dors, tu dors, tu dors, tu oublies même que qui est à l'église. Et l'ennemi va te faire dormir, tu vas te réveiller quand l'église est finie, tu dis, oh, j'ai oublié. Mako Katabab, I'm praying for someone this morning. He say you that love sleep, you that love sleep, you that love sleep, you end up in poverty. You will end up not knowing the word of God. Not knowing when the enemy will come, not knowing when the danger is <laughs> ahead of you. He said, Open your eyes, let your eyes be open. So I'm praying this morning for someone. May your eyes be open for all the devices of the enemy. May your eyes be open for all those that want to switch to you from the love of God, from the will of God, from the house of God, in the mighty name of Jesus. From the Assemblies of the saints, from the assemblies of the saints, it's not by you of by 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 you making, but the enemy that is using you, that is manipulating you. We come against that enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Hallelujah! Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Hallelujah! Pray that prayer. It's confirmed. It's confirmed. It's Proverbs chapter twenty six. Uh, 26 verse 16. It's a lazy people. So there is a group of people that choose to be lazy. Don't be among those groups in the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 16. It says, lazy people consider themselves uh, smarter. <laughs> Lazy people consider themselves smarter. They know all things. They know all things. They say, oh, I cannot come to the prayer because I can pray by myself. I can pray by myself. They say they are smart. It's not my word. It's not my word. Read it in your Bible. Read it in your Bible. Say, so lazy people consider themselves smarter. Makoka, hallelujah. When I discovered this, I said, Lord Jesus, help me, help me, help me. Help me not to be lazy. Help me not to be lazy. In the mighty name of Jesus, I say, get prepared. Get prepared. Get ready. Get ready. I will tell you throughout this week, we will tell you why. Why you have to get ready. Sometimes you have to be excited, excited. Oh, when a child, when the father said the child, go and dress up, go and dress up. He will run and dress up without even knowing what, why the father is saying go and dress up. Just because he knows that the father has a good thing for him. Your father in heaven have a good thing for you, beloved. So get ready. Get ready to receive. Get ready. Get ready. Pray, pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. I want to be ready. I want to be ready. Ah, Kabo second. I release myself. Wakasoko. Someone said, I release myself from the spirit of laziness. Yes, release yourself. Release yourself. Lose yourself. My Bible says something. Lose yourself. Lose yourself. Lose yourself. It's like they tie a rope on your on your neck or on your legs and put somewhere. Mako katababa. COVID-19 is finished. Oh, they, we were in lockdown. Even though they have lifted the lockdown, some people are still tied up. Some people are still bound. They cannot lose themselves. So I'm praying this morning, you will lose yourself. You will receive power from heaven to lose yourself, to lose yourself in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, let your eyes be open and let your mind be alert. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your eyes be open, let your mind be alert, and let your heart be receptive. We are praying against any stony heart, any stony heart, any stony heart that cannot receive the word of God, that cannot receive the word of God, that think that they are smart. But they said it's a lazy people that consider themselves smarter than the wise. Morocco, Kataba, Father, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Que je te lise ça en français. Proverbe chapitre 26, bien aimé, 26, 26, verset 16, verset 16, verset 16. Le paresseux, oh Kabok, c'est que nous condamnons toute paresse, tout esprit de paresse ce matin, in the, au nom de Jésus. Le paresseux, le paresseux se croit plus sage <rire> que cet homme qui savent répondre avec intelligence. Le paresseux se croit plus sage. Hey, toi qui te crois plus sage, ma cocata, I come to tell you this morning, review, 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 review yourself, review yourself, review your thinking, review your thinking, you review your thinking in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You are not putting something. You are not putting. You are being cut off. We are being. You are being cut off by the sleep. You are being cut off by the sleep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Maria, where are you? Hakabo seke. Maria, Maria, Maria. Kabo sekerebe. Thank you, Lord. Maybe I'm not receiving your comment. I know you are commenting. Father, we thank you. 
L'esprit de paresse. L'esprit de paresse. Prie contre l'esprit de paresse. Tu ne peux pas te lever à 5 heures parce que tu es tout simplement paresseux. Ce n'est pas parce que tu fais quelque chose, tu n'es pas au travail. Tu n'es pas malade. Mais la paresse, laziness, we come against us, every spirit of laziness. What up? What? It, it come in different form. It's come in different form. Sometimes it, it, you will think that you have headache. It's not headache. It's laziness. Mandoko kataba. Rikata pasekerebe. You could not take yourself out of that, of that uh, laziness. Oh, hallelujah. How do you prepare yourself? How do we prepare ourselves? How do we prepare ourselves? In prayer. In prayer. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is a master key. If you want to unlock, unlock, unlock every situation in your life. If you want to unlock every situation in your life, beloved, pray. Start praying. Start praying. Jesus said that demon, you cannot cast that demon out. Oh, except you pray and fast. Except you pray and fast. So we are giving ourselves to prayer. Give yourself to prayer. Give yourself to prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. And pray for someone this morning that you give yourself to prayer. We got many points, many points of preparation. But we're going to be giving you one by one as the day comes. Hallelujah. By the grace of God. By the grace of God. You say prepare. Prepare your work outside. Get everything ready. Proverbs chapter number 24, verse 27. Mandeke Proverbs 24, 27. He said, prepare your work outside. Get everything ready. Get everything ready. Get everything ready. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we pray. We pray this morning for the spirit of laziness. For the spirit of laziness. Nous prions contre l'esprit de paresse. L'esprit de paresse. Oh, Cabo Seke. Ce que tu appelles mot de tête, ce n'est pas le mot de tête. Ce que tu appelles euh, euh, mot de vente, ce n'est pas le mot de vente. C'est tout simplement la paresse. La paresse. Oh, papa, j'avais mal à la tête. Je ne pouvais pas me réveiller. Oh, mon ventre. Oh, mon épaule me faisait du mal. Je ne pouvais pas me réveiller. C'est la paresse au nom de Jésus. Parce que ma Bible dit, le paresseux, le paresseux se croit trop sage. Le paresseux se croit trop sage. Et c'est là que l'ennemi nous a, nous a bien aimé. Alléluia. The, the, the lazy person think to themselves that they are smarter, they are smart than the wise. Alléluia. Don't be caught by the, by, by, by the spirit of uh, laziness. Don't be caught off by the spirit of laziness in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I come to pray for you this morning according to Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10. I come to pray this morning to you according to Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10. He said the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and be saved. So run to the strong tower. Run to the strong tower. Run to the strong tower. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Put your comment. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Makato Korebe. Yakasoko. Many are sleeping. Many are sleeping. And the laziness will cut you, by your If you give yourself to the, to sleep when it's time to pray, when it's time to pray, I went to London to see my father, my, my, my mentor yesterday, and Every midnight is up is he go to his room to pray. Every midnight is is not young like you, but is get he give himself. He this he said to me, Oh laziness, sickness, nothing cannot stop me to pray at midnight. Father, we I'm praying for someone. Yes, deaconess. It's now you are getting up. I saw you, I saw you, I saw you, you disappear. God bless you, God bless you. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. Where is <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Father, we thank you. Oh Zana, Ozana. Many that I wake up. Yes, yes, Maria, you woke up again. Oh, tell me, tell me right there. Papa, I was not sleeping. In the mighty name of Jesus. He said, prepare. I said, prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. And pray for you this morning, according to Proverbs 18:10. He said, The name of the Lord 
is my strength. It's a strong tower. The righteous run into it and be safe. I'm praying for you this morning. According to Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10. He said, do not grieve for the joy of the Lord is your strength. He said, do not grieve. Do not cry. Do not cry. Oh, that situation you are going through. You say, oh, Papa, you don't know. You don't know what I'm passing through. You don't know what I'm going through. No, 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 no. He said, do not grieve. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. Just be rejoiced. Just be singing praises. Just be singing. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Isaiah 41 10. Isaiah 41 10. It said, Do not fear, for I am with you. Hallelujah. Do not fear, for I am with you. He said, prepare, 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 prepare. Say to yourself, again, I'm going to be ready. I'm going to be ready. I'm going to get ready. When we are coming to pray this morning, we, are, we, have, we get prepared first. We get prepared first. The time of preparation. That's why when we come to the camera, we are not tired. When we come to the camera, you can see me sweating. Because from the inside, there is already joy. Mandeke, I said preparation. Get involved. Get involved in the preparation. Yes, Marie. Yeah, yes, Maria. <laughs> yes, I am here, Papa. Thank you. Thank you. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Nanko Kataba. Call those that are not yet in. Solange, Solange, Solange. She's missing out. She's missing out. Makatoko. Mareka Saba. Mariette, Mariette, I haven't seen you. This is the second week. Marco Kataba, may the Holy Spirit waking you up in the mighty name of Jesus so that we get prepared together. Hallelujah. See that woman, see that woman that we get to, that we want to deliver a, a newborn baby. She get prepared, she buy things, she buy dresses, she, she buy anything, she change the, 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 the style of her room, she change the paint of the house, she decorate the house, she just by <laughs> because the newborn baby is coming, Makatoko is saying no. She have to come in the new environment. She have that baby have to come in the new environment, or is she or he? You have to come, Abatoko. Thank you. I pray for someone this morning for you. The spirit of laziness to leave you alone. The spirit of laziness to leave you alone. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless your name. Thank you. Thank you. Clap for Jesus. Thank you, Maria. Amen. Amen. You won't be lazy. You won't be lazy. You won't be lazy. You are not getting up because you are tired. No, 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 no. You are not getting up because you are tired. You are not getting up because you are lazy. Listen to this verse that I gave you this morning. Meditate on it. Proverbs 22, Proverbs 26, Proverbs 24. Marco Kata Baba. Ba. Laziness. This morning we tackle the spirit of laziness. The spirit of laziness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May God bless you. May God bless you. You won't be lazy anymore. You will be strong. You will be strong in Jesus' name. Receive strength. May the joy of the Lord be your strength. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen and amen and amen. Have a nice day and the apostle will take over. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you. Thank you. You that are watching. <laughs> you that are watching. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you. And uh, we are on in the air. We are on Facebook. Hallelujah. Do not worry about my chair. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I just want to thank you. I just want to thank you for you that are up this morning. I thank God for your life. Yes, Maria. Yes, glory be to God, my, da my darling. Glory be to God. Thank you that are up for this first day, hallelujah, of the prayer and for getting ready, as the man of God said, getting ready, getting ready for what? Getting ready because Jesus is coming very soon. He will not, he will not come because, because, hallelujah, because you are sleeping, it will not delay to come because you are sleeping. When the time comes, when the trumpet will sound, it will come whether you are sleeping or you are awake. But they say, well, those that will be ready will be cut off. So getting ready is very, very important in our Christian life. Getting ready is very important. When you are a Christian and you are a born again Christian filled with the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, despite whatever thing is happening, you have to be conscious minded to get ready hallelujah this is fountain of agape mission center hallelujah we are on air every tuesday to friday morning 
to pray just one hour prayer just one hour just one hour if you cannot get up just for one hour <laughs> you can't even pray your house for 15 minutes don't we should not deceive ourselves we should not deceive ourselves especially when you are a member of this ministry you have to together to pray hallelujah we have to join together to agree together so that we can pray because it's a mission it's a collective mission we have to come together to pray hallelujah and that's why the man of god was saying god revealed to him is a spirit of laziness the spirit of laziness comes with confusion the spirit of laziness comes with uh, hallelujah with uh, uh, so many things doubt and everything the spirit of laziness come with procrastination when you are lazy, you procrastinate. If I don't go on air tomorrow, and the devil, the enemy, we use it to pull down our spirit for us to do what? To disobey God. Ah, you have to be wise, as Proverbs said. We have to be wise. We have to be diligent. We have to be diligent. The way Proverbs put it, that we have to be wise. Jesus Christ said, I send you out like a wolf. So be diligent. Be wise. In the book of in, in the book of Matthew, say be wise, be wise, hallelujah. We are wise. The book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 16. Say, be wise as a child of God, be wise. Know those that are not serious with God. You have to be diligent, you have to know those that are not serious to serve God. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. I have got good news for you this morning. Just drop in my ears. You have to know those that put it down. Are not serious to serve God. That's the that's the that's the spirit of diligence, the spirit to be wise. Knowing who is not serious with God should not be your companion. Say this morning, in the name of Jesus, I come against the evil spirit of laziness. I come against that demon of laziness in the name of Jesus. I come against it in my life. In the name of Jesus, I come against it in my life. In the name of Jesus, you spirit of laziness, whether it's coming by from you or it's coming from whosoever, I come against you this morning in the name of Jesus. And I pray for the power of the Holy Spirit to be empower me to do the things of God. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the Holy Spirit will empower me to do the things of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, glory be to God. You know, many people are hardworking in doing other things. That's why you have to be wise. Why am I so? Why am I so hardworking to do things that doesn't belong to God? But I'm lazy to do the things of God. That's where the enemy trap us. That's where the enemy trap us. You can be very diligent in your house, cleaning your house, doing many things. Very hard working, making everything to be okay in your house, but in the house of God, laziness. When the devil knows that that is where when you are doing it constantly, that's where blessing will come. It will rob you not to see. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Those are the things. Look at the book of Genesis chapter 2 verse 15. When God created man, he put him in the garden of Eden. He said, take care of it. So the church is our garden. We have to take care of it. So we are praying for this against the spirit of negligence, the spirit of laziness to do the things of God. So we have to differentiate those things. We can be lazy only to do the things of God, but to do other things, we are very, very hardworking. So think about it and that start praying against it. That God help me. The man of God said, open my eyes to see the things that I have to do. Getting ready to do your things, oh Lord. Hallelujah. I reject every evil spirit, every spirit, negative spirit, hallelujah, that is taking me out of the will of God, that is taking me out of doing the things of God. I come against it this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against it this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I love this verse that Jesus Christ said. Jesus Christ told his disciple 
He said, I am sending you out like sheep among the wolves. Therefore, be as you. He said, be as wise. Be as wise. Be as you as snake and as innocent as dove. Be wise. Be wise. Be innocent. My God, in the name of Jesus Christ, glory be to God. We are talking about readiness. When we are not ready to do the things of God, when we take the things of God negligently, glory, my God, my God, I have come to speak to someone's life. This will deliver you from taking the things of God in the negligent way, in laziness way. My God, I'm praying for you this morning that the spirit of the Holy, the spirit of God will empower you in the name of Jesus Christ. It will empower your spirit life. It will empower your prayer life. It will empower your evangelism life. It will empower you to do the things of God. It will open your eyes to see, hallelujah, the things that you have to do so that you will not be lazy. You are not lazy. Many of us are not lazy to do things. <laughs> it's a spirit that is fighting against the church of Jesus Christ. The spirit that is fighting against you and I not to do the things of God rightly makes us to be lazy. Yes, you can go out every time to do your shopping with your children, everything, but come to church. No, there's coronavirus. That's why you see coronavirus in the church. But outside in other shops, you don't see it. But you see it just to come to church. That's why you can take care of your child very well. My God, that's the spirit. I come against it. That spirit of laziness. That spirit of laziness. That is only say, Lord, I'm not going to be lazy. So I'm delivering someone today. Somebody must be delivered today. Because the word of God comes to deliver set free. The word of God comes to hear. The word of God comes to open our eyes. Hallelujah. The word of God, Logos, is coming to open our eyes. In the name of Jesus, I say, you must know those that doesn't want to take the things of God serious. Because when you don't know them, as they are going backward, they are taking you backward. But if you identify them, if you are wise, why they are going backward, you are going forward. Ha, <laughs> yeah, 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 Karaba. Say in the name of Jesus, I will go forward in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not allow any spirit of negligence. I will not allow any spirit of diligence, of, of, of laziness. I will not allow any spirit of laziness to pull me backward as from today. In the name of Jesus Christ, I come against it. In the name of Jesus, I come against it. In the name of Jesus, I will lose myself. I lose myself. Speak it. Pray it. Amen. Amen. Pray it. Say amen. I lose myself from that demonic power that is pulling me back, that is taking me away from the presence of God. I pull myself. King David said early in the morning, in the book of Psalm, the man of God read it. Early in the morning, King David he has a lot of work. What, what work do you have? You don't have nothing. He got people. He got people to 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 to, to put under. He got people. He have things to go to war. He have everything. He, 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 he has things to to arrange in the kingdom. But he say early in the morning, I wake up early in the morning. I lay my request to God, and I wait in expectation. Prayer must be our priority. Prayer must be our priority. Prayer must be, put it down, it must be your priority. Prayer must be your priority. Your mind needs to be trained to pray in the name of Jesus. I pray for you this morning that my your priority will be prayer. Early in the morning, Jesus was waking up and he was going to a solitary place where he will pray throughout. He shows us a good example that we must pray. If Paul came and told us, pray with that season. Pray without stop. All these things are coming falsely to us to pull us down. Because he has seen a house, a hole to penetrate and to destroy us. He, he can use whosoever that wants to do is the what that is is using to destroy you. He can use, but if you are not wise, if you bring down your spirit, hallelujah, he will use whosoever as he's going backward. You are going backward. <laughs> the Bible says 
a blind man cannot lead a blind man. Watch out, watch out, watch out. I come against that spirit that your eyes will be open. Your eyes will be open in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, my, my, my dear Maria. Your eyes will be open. Hallelujah. Laziness must not be your portion. Laziness must, let me tell you, if your spirit man is lazy, if your spirit is lazy, eventually everything you are doing outwardly will be disgusting. Hallelujah. It will not have any sense. You'll be confused because you will not have direction from the Holy Spirit. What God wants you to do. Because you are taking his things slightly. You will hold here, hold here, hold here, hold here. But I come against that spirit this morning. Say, Lord, I don't want to be confused. I don't want to be confused. I don't want to be confused. I refuse the spirit of confusion in my life. In the name of Jesus. I refuse it. I pray for you that wherever you are, you are hearing the sound of my voice. Many have been coming to you to destabilize you, to take you away from the present, to take you away from your blessing. This morning, I am praying for you wherever you are. You are hearing the sound of my voice. I'm praying for you this morning. May the Spirit of God open your spiritual eyes to align you with the Word of God, with the Logos. In the name of Jesus, I learn you with that logos. The word of God, God has given us an access code. He has given us an access code. Then the code is the name of Jesus. That is the code. But that code must be put where we know what we are doing. You don't go to a house without having the code. You must be familiar. You must know the code. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Yes. Glory. You have to know the code. You have to use the logos. Hallelujah. You have to use the logos. Prayer, the a prayer spirit is like a plane taking off. When you are praying, you are like a plane taking off. You know, the law of gravity cannot hold the plane. Hallelujah. The law of gravity can hold the plane. The plane must take off. So when your prayer life is according to the word of God, the Bible says, I love God. Say, plead your cause. Plead your cause. What do you want me to answer your prayer for? What do you want me to answer your prayer for? Why? Why? Why do you want that husband? Why do you want that money? Why? Plead your cause. Hallelujah. Plead your cause. Pray by, ask God to Come out that God remove me from this laziness because I want to do this. I have been doing it and I've been doing it in your house always. You sweep the house of God today. You don't sweep it anymore. You wait for 20 years before you come back. Well, you can't plead your cause in that. I can plead my cause. I say, God, look at what I'm doing every day in your house. That's why God can quickly say yes. When Dorcas was doing, Dorcas was not a lazy woman. The Bible says, she was decorating the house of God. She was giving things to, to people. She was praying, joining with the disciple, going out for evangelism, coming back in the house of God, sweeping the house. It was her duty all the time. Years after years, she never stopped because she was not lazy. But when doctors died, people were pleading her cause. Look at what she has been doing. You want this thing for what? What do we want this and that? What can we plead? When we are praying, we have to bring our cause in front of God. Lord, look at what I'm doing. And look at what the devil is doing. You, can you plead your cause? That's to what God is saying. Say, plead your cause. Bring me your argument. Bring me your argument. My God, David was bringing his argument in front of God every morning. Bring your argument to God this morning. I'm praying for you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, that I am going to plead my cause. I will not be lazy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Year after year, you will be, you have to be doing the things of God. Year after year. Not because of man. Hallelujah. Not because of any your sister, your husband, your wife, or your brother, your sister. Many people come to church because someone is bringing them to church. When the person back up, they, they, all of them back up. Glory be to God. Your eyes are still blind. 
You don't know the type of God. You don't even know who you are serving. So this morning, I'm praying for you. May the Lord open your eyes because the person is lazy. He will put that spirit of laziness in you because the person is, he, hallelujah, you have to identify. Jesus Christ said, be wise. Be wise. My God, that's why we have to be ready. Jesus is coming to take you. Not He will take, he said, husband and wife will be in one bed. It will take one and leave one. So it depends on the position that you position yourself. I pray for you this morning that the Spirit of God will begin to reveal to you, hallelujah, the things that God wants you to do. In the name of Jesus, the Spirit of God will begin to reveal the things that God wants you to do. My God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I, my God, I pray for you this morning. May you begin to see, hallelujah, the work that you have to do. Come against that spirit of laziness. Hallelujah. My daughter Jadine said, hallelujah. Come against that spirit of laziness. When the Lord opens your eyes, you will see, my God, the paradise. You will see, say, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believe the love of God, the, the, the fountain of love. God, I open my prayer is every day. I look at where God brought me and I look where God is taking me. I look at everything along the way that God has Shipping. I come from an adulterous family that they were doing different things, serving different God. But God chose me just that one alone. Nobody can tell me anything concerning God, against God. For to drag me, my God, I pray in the name of Jesus that may you begin to see what you have to do. You were struggling and moving around. But God placed you in the right direction. Now you become lazy to do the things of God. I'm praying for you this morning that may the power of the Holy Ghost began to take you to another dimension. God, Jesus Christ said, hallelujah, you shall be anointed that the Spirit of God has come in upon me. The Spirit of God is upon me. To do what? To sleep in your house, to be comfortable because he has given you a nice bed and a nice duvet. He said, the Spirit of God has come upon you. To set the captive free. Many are in bondage. God is looking at you and I to set them free. But if we are lazy, we will not go an inch. We will not even see the world perishing because our eyes are blind. We are just contenting on our comfort oh to be happy where we are. And we say we don't care about any other person. Whether they go to hell or they do whatsoever. Our eyes need to be open. So this morning I'm praying for you. Hallelujah. Come out from your comfort zone. In the name of Jesus. I release the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I release the power of the Holy Ghost. That you will, I will catapult you to your destiny. Hallelujah. In the name, we are not just serving God because we want to live in a comfort house. We want to be happy. We want to have children. We After that, dress this is nice. that. Dress nice. No, I am not serving God. I'm serving God because I want to set the captive free. When this is your cause, you are pleading. Father, anoint me because I want to see the captive being set free. You are pleading your cause and God will back you up. Whatever thing you are doing, the Lord will be there. Lord, anoint my mouth. I pray for someone this morning that the word of God that will come out from your mouth will come out with power and anointing and authority to set someone free from the laziness. Set someone free from procrastination. Set someone free from confusion. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, my God, I am coming now, now by the power. I'm speaking by the power of the Holy Ghost that you will hear the sound of my voice. And you will start doing the way Jesus did. Every day when I look at the life of Jesus, I say, Lord, may you anoint me every day. Every day anoint me to do your work. Anoint me to read the word of God. Anoint me not just only reading. You can read and you can have revelation. But if you don't put it in practice, you're just wasting your time. My God, you cannot see the manifestation of the logos. I'm praying for you this morning that the power of the Holy Ghost will come upon you. The thing you need in your life is to understand the revelation of what God says he is. The Jehovah Shabao is the God Almighty. Jehovah Shabao is the God of hosts. The mighty man in battle is going ahead fighting your cause. I pray for you this morning. You that are listening very well. Wherever the 
enemy has placed you to destroy your destiny, your future, not to do the things of God. Listen very well. I'm emphasizing of doing the work of God, not the work in your house, because you are faithful doing the things of your house. You are faithful doing cooking, doing things in your house. But now the demon of laziness has come to divert you, not to do the things of God. My God, I am praying for you this morning that may the power of the Holy Ghost, listen, the life of Paul was not his life. It was life, his life was a life to serve God. Whom to whom do you give your life to? You cherish it, you do everything, make it make up like myself for, for the glory of God. I pray for you this morning that when you see the world perishing, your heartbeat will be clear with the things of God. You will not be a problem in the church, but you'll be looking how you make the church, you'll be evangelizing. My God, I'm praying for you this morning. The kingdom of God suffer violent, and violent people take it by force. In the name of Jesus, good morning, my dear. Glory be to God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, glory be to God. Yes, no conspiracy. No evil gathering. No, I come, I remove you from that gathering. I take you out from that gathering that doesn't have purpose or use. In the name of Jesus, you will be, you will go forward. You will move forward. You will be, you will be the head and never the tail in your generation. You will make a difference like Esther. You will make a difference like, like, just as Deborah. You will make a difference. In your generation, it must be your mindset need to be trained to serve God. You must be that little girl. You hallelujah. Then when Peter was released, she was coming, she had they were praying for Peter to get released. When Peter was released, even the disciple could not hear that when Peter was knocking at the door. I pray that your ears will be will be open, that you will hear when Jesus is knocking at the door of your heart. That my daughter, my son, wake up right now, do this. You will not cause confusion in the church, bringing problem when there's no problem. You will be seeing only how you can do the things of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I come against that spirit right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, spirit of destruction. The spirit of destruction. I come against it. Hallelujah. I set you free, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Set you free right now in the name of Jesus. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Disgrace and expose. Disgrace and expose. Say, I disgrace and expose every evil collaboration against my life, against the work of God. Disgrace it and expose it in the name of Jesus. Disgrace and expose every evil collaboration, every evil entity that is against the work of God, that is against your destiny in the name of Jesus. Disgrace it and I'm, I, I, I'm not seeing a man. I'm not seeing a man, but thank God for those that are listening far. People in Coventry, they don't listen. They open their phone and go and sleep. <laughs> you do it even to yourself, not to me. <laughs> Hallelujah. You are just deceiving yourself. <laughs> that is the thing we are fighting against, that we should not be hypocrite of ourselves. We are fighting against it. Hallelujah. That Lord, when I wake up to watch, when I wake up to need, let me be connected, really. Because God is watching you, beloved. God is watching me. It's better for you to sleep and not to be connected than to be connected and you don't say anything. God is watching, beloved. God is watching. He's watching us. He's saying what we are doing. If it is from our heart, that's where we receive the reward. It is from our mind. My will not reward. If we are doing because we want to do, we will not reward. We are up because we are so excited to be up. Because we want God to do something in our generation. We want people to be safe. We want people to come to God. We want people to be set free in the name of Jesus. We want people to know Christ. Our heart desire is to make disciples in the name of Jesus Christ. That's why we can do what we are doing because we have tested. The Bible says test and see how God is good. You have not yet tested him and see how he's good. Taste and yes. see. When you taste him and you see how it's good, beloved, you will not be content only with a little environment. You will be content to go out and preach the good news. Whosoever will come around you, your mouth, the fire in your heart will continue to burn. I pray for you this morning that you will be anointed as we start this prayer. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get the spirit of preparation. Be your portion this week. Preparation, not doing things. Prepare 
to meet Christ. Prepare when meeting Christ. You will tell him that God, this is what I've been doing. Hallelujah. Prepare to meet him. Prepare. Do not allow people to bring confusion, debating you, making a lot of things, scenario that you don't even know. Say, Lord, I come against it in the name of Jesus. I am so myself. I pray for you this morning. May the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, I soak you in the blood of Jesus and I project you, hallelujah, from where God wants you to be in the name of Jesus. I project you, hallelujah. You be what God wants you to be. No person will put you down. No one will put you down. Step by step, you will get there. You will not be in a collaboration with lazy people. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will not associate yourself with people that are procrastinating. My husband just said that they think they are wise. Hallelujah. Everything they are doing is their own. That is the best. No man of God doesn't know nothing. Hallelujah. Come against that spirit of ignorance because the power of the Holy Ghost must be in your spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, he said, be wise and be innocent. My God, when we are wise and we are innocent, God will use us. Hallelujah. In our generation, it will make you to be the light. It will make you to be the star. May your star begin to shine in your generation. In the name of Jesus, in your child begins, you got big vision, but we can't see the manifestation. <laughs> the Bible says that there is a, a cloud without rain. Let the cloud come and let the rain come and water the seed that you are sowing in the life of people. Hallelujah. Let us not be a cloud without rain. Let us be the cloud that rain will come, that will bring rain. Hallelujah. In due time, in the name of Jesus, do not grow weary. Do not grow weary. Say, I will not grow weary as from today. I will not grow weary. In the name of Jesus, I will not grow weary. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Bible says, do not grow weary. And in due time, you will have your reward. You will have your reward in the name of Jesus. I will not grow weary. Hallelujah. Anyone that might want to Steal my reward. I come, hallelujah, bring it back. I draw back my reward in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Glory be to God. Just th start thanking God for this, you that are up. Start thanking him. Say, Lord, I thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I thank you from the bottom of my heart that I have been up and I've been faithfully watching. I've been blessed. Thank God from the bottom of your heart. Let the devil be ashamed. Let the devil know that you are thanking God. Say, Lord, I thank you. Uh, today, I have heard that I should not be lazy to do the things of God. I should be the first in the house of God. I should be the first to do the things of God. I should employ myself in the house of God. My God, Hallelujah. I should employ myself in the house of God. My God, my God, I'm praying for you this morning that God will use you powerfully. I'm praying for you this morning that as you make that first step, God, you will continue to do the things of God. In your generation, your light will shine. Today, a favor will accompany you. In the name of Jesus, favor, whatever you are looking for today, the job you are looking for is knocking at your door. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. The husband you are looking for is on his way coming. The child you are looking for is coming. Everything as you are faithful in the house of God, God will begin to release his blessing in your life this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. As you become ready to waiting for the Lord, ready to do the things of God, refusing the spirit of laziness, the power of the Holy Ghost will come upon your life this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. I can see you walking. I can see you moving forward. I can see you being released from that power of laziness in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. I will not leave this platform without telling somebody that Jesus loves you. Give your life to Christ. Hallelujah. Make peace with God. Confess him in your heart, in your mouth, and believe in your heart that God raised him up from death, and then you are saved. Hallelujah. Because the wages of sin is is dead but the gift of god is life eternal today you have received that gift of god that is life eternal you are among the children of god the name of jesus is your coat 
your access code to penetrate wherever you want to go. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed. There is peace in heaven now that you have confessed. Heaven is rejoicing when one sinner, when one sinner turns to God, when one sinner repents, heaven is rejoicing. Hallelujah. That is what Jesus spoke, not me. Jesus Christ is spoken. So I'm telling you that heaven is rejoicing today. Hallelujah. Tomorrow we are. We are on air again, early in the morning, 5 a.m. And we also have our Bible studies today about the power of God, the logos. So we will send Zoom connection. If you want to connect with us, we will invite someone to connect to know the word of God so that people will not deviate you from your promises. Hallelujah. They will not deviate you. To not know the power of God, you need to study, you need to connect, beloved. Connect with us. 6 30. We're going to share. We have our pastor prince that is going to put the Zoom. Hallelujah. We're going to share it. You have to connect and learn more. That's what makes you to be whom God wants you to be, beloved. Knowing the word of God. Don't be like those that have been in church for 10 years. They cannot even say nothing. They just say, ah, Hallelujah. Be the one that God wants you to be who God wants you to be in the name name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We love you all. And now we are ending up our prayer this morning. God bless you. See you tomorrow. See you this evening and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hallelujah. Bye. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.